So you've of course got many accolades, you've got an accolades under your belt. What, um, what do you say to people that say your sort of best years are behind you? Who says that? I'm saying if someone had to say that, what, what, what are your goals still? So what's the question? I'm saying what would you say to someone if someone said that your best years are behind you? I probably wouldn't say anything to them if I'm honest. Sorry? I probably wouldn't say anything to them if I'm honest. Okay, so the other second part of my question is what are your goals? What what are you still hoping to achieve? I still want to win bike races. I think uh, I've come here to, to win bike races at, at, at Dimension Data. You know, it's a, it's a team that's winning throughout the year and if I can add to that tally rate then I'll be doing my job. And, and sprinting wise, obviously we know that that's your strength. Um, are you hoping to pass that on to your fellow team members here? Is there someone that you kind of see as kind of taking under your wing? As an understudy, we've got a lot of sprinters here. We've got a lot of good guys across all aspects of of cycling. I think uh, how the teams always approach races to go in and look at every individual racing day as a new challenge and try to find the best formula for that. And uh, I'll fit into that. And whether it's me winning, whether it's a climber winning, it's another sprinter winning. You know, I'll be I'll be happy and I'll be motivated to do the best for the team. Do you think in South Africa and Africa there is more of a culture of sort of endurance or sprint racing? What what do you get the feeling of here? Both. Okay. So what has this training camp got in store? What do you guys got lined up? It's, a, it's the only time this this week is the only time the whole team is going to be together, um, in the whole year really that everybody gets together. Um, we'll obviously race at different points with each other, but the whole team together. It's about kind of maximising that time, you know, getting to know everybody, getting to work well as a unit, you know, we're doing a lot of training, we're doing four or five hours every day, there's a lot of media going on, you know, we've only got a week to cram everything in, so uh, we've got a lot of media going on and, uh, and obviously meeting the sponsors. Does South Africa offer the right kind of landscapes and sort of topography for the kind of racing you do in Europe, from a training point of view? There's a lot of wind here, definitely it's good for for the races in Northern Europe, I know that. But we've got great weather, so we're able to get on the bikes and enjoy it. So. Mark, thanks very much. All the best, Thank you. Eh? Very much.